my name is Doug. Thank you for joining me for this training video for the weekly giving software. And today we're going to look at modifying the historical giving records. It's going to happen, so you might as well expect it, that we need to go back in and change the historical records. So uh, let me go ahead and just bring up the Excel file and, and, and make sure you start with the master weekly giving. Now, I am using the 2016 in my sample here, uh, so don't let the dates concern you. But we start in the Master Weekly, open it up, and cancel uh, the prompt where it's asking for the date. If we go to the Annual tab, uh, the reason I'm, I'm going through this video is, is because the information in our Excel file is protected, locked. So you can't just simply come here and make a change to the, uh, to the information on this annual tab because it's locked and therefore read only. So that's why I'm giving you these instructions. All right, let's take a, a reasonable example. So we have our, our donor number 130, Jeff Montoya. We assigned him no 130 and um, he's been, been giving on a regular basis. Jeff came to us uh, a couple weeks ago and said, hey, I would like to get a box of your numbered envelopes and begin using those. So we grabbed the first available box, box number 41, and gave that to Jeff. Okay, no problem, other than the history has all of Jeff's giving still marked as, as number 130. So we need to modify it. Not a problem. Let's go through those steps. Okay, first thing is to go ahead and come to the Annual tab, and then on our ribbons, choose Review. From Review, choose Unprotect Sheet. Okay, so this sheet is now unprotected. I can go through and make changes. I think the easiest way to make changes would be to highlight the entire column and then use the find, and we're gonna basically use the find and replace. So I'm gonna do a control F and it'll ask for a find. First thing I, I like to do to start with is go ahead and find everything. So we're we'll going to just put in the donor number, 130, Jeff's old number, and do a find all. I really like to do this so that it can get a good list of everything that it's going to modify. Okay, it, it perfectly found all of the 130s for Jeff, and now we can just simply replace 130 with his new number, 41. Replace all. And we're done with the changes, so let's protect the sheet again. So I'll protect sheet and OK. And now our annual worksheet is protected. Next step is we want to fix up the donor list. OK. So if we come down here, 41 was not being used. So we'll go ahead and do just a simple insert. And this is Jeff Monto Montoya. OK. Now. This is his new, his new number for the box we gave him. However, we need to, need to go down to, uh, to down to 130, the old number, and change this. Uh, I think some people would be inclined to just simply delete it. I'm a little more um, detail-oriented, so I would actually prefer here that we modify this and just say that, um, that we reassigned uh, or, or gave uh, Jeff a, a new box. Okay, so rather than just simply deleting it, if we leave a, a note around, uh, that would help us out later on then. And we wouldn't be inclined perhaps to, at least for this year, to reassign uh, number 130. So, okay. Hey, I think that's a, a valid example. The final step we would do here is just simply save the Excel file. So that next time we, we open up our master giving and we're ready to, ready to begin, all of those changes are, are done. All right, let's look at um, another example. And that would be uh, a case where uh, Levi, Levi Shepard, number 21, is getting married to Kara Owen, number 12. So we really want to merge these two. All right, it's the same kind of thing, not a big deal. So we go to the, uh, to the annual tab, 
First step is to, just like we did before, first step is to unprotect it so we can make the changes. All right, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and do a find. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna take Kara, number 12, and turn it into uh, 21. So that'll be a uh, combined Levi and Kara. So let's go ahead and do the find on, on, uh, on donor 12, and we'll do a find all and take a look at what it's doing. Oh, it doesn't look good. It's finding 12, but it's also finding 112 and 125, 128. Okay, so what we really need to do when we're doing the find is to look at uh, one of our options to match the entire cell contents. So let's try that. Okay, this looks a lot more, a lot more correct. It's only finding um, Kara. Perfect. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find all of the twelve, and we are going to replace it with twenty-one. All right, go ahead and replace all, and I made thirteen replacements. We can close this and protect the sheet again. Just like last time, we come back here to our donor list and we fix it up. All right, so I'm going to say Kara married Levi Shepard. And her new number is 21. And then down on our donor number 21, we would go in and adjust this as well. So here we now have Levi and Kara Shepard. Okay, final step, go ahead and save it. All right, let's look at a different example. So let's say there is genuinely a problem in the information that we've recorded and we need to fix it. We'll come to our annual giving record. And um, let's, let's take this as an example. Uh, Eliana, is very consistent when she gives. She gives all the time, but she always splits her, her donations between the general category and the benevolent, or benevolence category. But on this day, her, her envelope was filled out saying that she was splitting it between general and missions. So per her envelope, we go ahead and record it that way. But then to be diligent, we go ahead and follow up with her the next week and just say, hey, Eliana, was this what you intended to do? And she says, oh no, that was a mistake. I meant to do general and benevolence. All right, so here's an example where the dollars don't change, but the, the distribution or the category changes. So the first thing is it's important that we communicate this information to our treasurer so that, um, so that his information is correct. Because please understand that um, when we make this change, then the the amounts showing up in in missions and benevolence are going to change. Missions are going to go down, benevolence is going to go up. So we want our our uh, treasurer's uh, reports and his uh, his detail to match ours as well. So we need to communicate this to him whenever we make this kind of a change. So that's that's an important piece. But as far as making the change, it's actually pretty simple because all we really need to do is come. Uh, to the annual and just change the move the amounts if you will but just like we did before we're going to unprotect the annual sheet using review unprotect and we're going to come to her record and we'll just remove the 45 here and move it over here protect the sheet again okay and as I said if we look at our our uh, report we see that the missions went down, benevolence went up. Okay, and just as we did before, save the sheet so we've cha saved our changes. Another example where, we, where you might need to make this kind of a change is when the person who filled out the check wrote in the, in the numeric portion $110. But down in the written part, they just wrote $100. So our treasurer takes a, 
takes everything to the bank and the bank process it, processes it and sees the difference in the amounts and they record it at the lower amount. Okay, that would be a, a place where we need to go in and, and make a change to the, uh, to the annual record. I can think of some other reasons where we might need to make some adjustments to the history and that would be missing donations. Here's an example. During our uh, recent fellowship dinner, we decided that we would go ahead and everybody would throw some cash in, in the basket and we're going to use that money for benevolence. Great. The, the treasurer gathered up the money, took it to the bank, and everything's fine until we look at the monthly giving reports and we realize that our benevolence shows $80. The treasurer's report shows $280. Ah, because we didn't record the money that he took directly to the bank. Not a big deal. Again, that's why we want to communicate um, between the between ourselves and the treasurers, treasurer, and, and keep this keep everything synchronized. So I think the easiest way to do this is not to go into the annual tab and try to make changes here. But I think if we just use our normal mechanism. Okay, so you'd open your master weekly giving. And for the date, you would put in the date of the uh, of the fellowship meal. And uh, we'll just go ahead and presume that it was May of 2016. Put in that date. It was all cash, so we'll consider the put in the, the donor number for loose offering. It was $200 in cash, and all of that went to benevolence. Okay, one single entry is all we need. We don't have to worry about the detail down below as far as what dollars and cents we got because we don't have any of that. It was taken directly to the bank. All we care about is the correct entry here. Control M, entry is complete, so we use number one. All right, do you really wanna complete the entry, save it and print? Yes, we do. Well, we really care about saving, we don't care about printing. So when it says, would you like to print it? I'll go ahead and just say no. All right, that's completed. If we look at the annual record and go down to the very bottom, there's our $200 in benevolence. Nice. And what about the reports? Great. Now the, re now the report says 280, so we, we do match then the information, uh, the, the treasurer's monthly report. So everything is back in balance again. Okay, let's look at another example where the uh, the treasurer uh, received either in the mail uh, or, or in person um, a special one-time donation so let's say um let's say um jake from jake's auto came by and and, and said hey here's here's a here's a check for a thousand dollars i just just feel led to you know to donate to your to your church the treasurer takes it and deposits it all right but he instructs us that he wants us to record it and and print a a receipt for jake right away not a big deal okay once again you'll go to the weekly master giving open it up and um, today's date would be fine and then first thing we need to do is we do need to make a new entry the new number for jake so um, this is kind of a one-off thing, so we probably would give them some kind of a very high number. Okay, put in the his name or the company name, address if appropriate, and then we'll come back here and go ahead and do an entry for, for Jake. All right, it's a check of 1,000. And we'll put it all in general. And we'll go ahead and save it. Control M, entry is complete. Save and print. Do you really wanna save? Yes, I do. Do you wanna print it? No, I don't. And now we can do a receipt. So we come here to the receipts and we'll put in Jake's number. So there's number 300 for Jake's Auto, 
there's his receipt and we can um, just using the normal Excel print we can print his we can print his um, his receipt so all right um, hopefully that'll give you the uh, tools that you need whenever you do run into a situation where you need to change the historical giving records.